everybody I've arrived here at a work order calls it Southland tube but the signage on the place calls it new core now I've checked in back there and they've given me a piece of paper now it's been a year or so since I've been here and the guy explained they've kind of changed some of their process but uh, he gave me a paper here gave me a trailer number I'm looking for which the funny thing is the trailer I have now is 15242 and the trailer I'm picking up is 15241 isn't that crazy so he said I should find it if you if you see straight ahead and I know the sun's probably probably blinding you but there's some preloaded trailers here to the left and then straight ahead hopefully I'll find it there and uh, and then you know I'll have to do a trailer swap drop this one and then the securement area is over to the right I'll show you that later and then uh, they've changed the exit point here instead of going out to the right uh, you go back towards the way we came in to exit all right I'm just uh, okay here it is let me take the camera here well there's no place close by to park this trailer all right so here's my trailer right there 15 241 Um, a little bit of everything <laughs> all right well let me get to work okay guys let me show you what i've got done so far um here's my new trailer with the load this front section is three layers so i put a gut strap over the second layer there and back here gut straps and then four straps over the top and then back here this is just two layers nice and square i got five straps over that really tighten them down and then i had to move all of my stuff all of my tarps timbers uh four foot timbers everything except a few one foot timbers and now i'm gonna go over there and pull in that's the tarping area you know they've got the fall protection netting over there uh so i'll go over there and tarp i'm hoping i can get it with two four foot drop tarps but i don't know it's going to be close i might have to use one big one and one small one but uh, here it is from the other side here's my old trailer I hate to give it up just got it all fixed <laughs> here's the they had one strap on there you know to move it around the lot they had one strap over this front section so i just took it off and left it here all right so that's that this trailer seems to be okay except this corner marker light here is unplugged so it's not working i'm hoping i can get some tools and get down in there and uh, snap it back in it'll probably work if it's snapped back in I've done that before but sometimes they're kind of hard to get to okay well let me go get this tarping done okay guys so I've made it back out to the uh, this is the lot where I first checked in that's how I first went in and you have to come out this way uh, the previous time I was here they had to go out that way on the other side of the building but now you come out on this side so uh, a little different they made a few changes so here's the load secured and tarped I was able to get it with my two four foot tarps four foot drops the you know I got about a foot and a half of overlap there so <laughs> that's good I was hoping that might work out 
and the guy there in the shipping office warned me that uh, they've been having people wandering around maybe try to get in your truck you know while you're sleeping so be careful and be sure to lock your doors <laughs> golly I will for sure anyway here's the load just showing you final product Again, this is Southland, Birmingham, Alabama. It's really new core, but your work order is going to say Southland. And I had somebody ask me the other day, sent me a message over the weekend, asking, like, what do you do for a restroom, you know, if you're camping out like this? Well, most places have a porta potty, like that one right there. Um, most places. But if they don't have a porta potty, I recommend a simply orange bottle. Um, they work out nicely for s some of your needs. You just have to use your imagination for the rest. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Can y'all see the moon up ahead down low in the sky? Oh, hang on. That bridge might have blocked it. I'm just hoping y'all can see the moon just above the trees there. I've been driving for about an hour and a half. And the moon has been up in front of me the whole time. Full moon. Beautiful. Well, it's down behind the trees now, so I guess that's it. May not have got any of that. Wow, what a unique uh, morning to see the full moon. So I'm on the way to Oklahoma City. Got this load I picked up last night in uh, Birmingham. Stayed there at the property, the shipper. And uh, I was able to get that marker light on the trailer. I think I showed you it had a marker light not working so I got out there this morning with my headlamp and dug around in there for about 10 minutes and finally got it plugged back in you know it's a simple little thing to fix it's just a two-pronged plug-in light attachment but it's kind of hard to get to you know it's hard to get your your fingers up there enough to manipulate it really need to get a maybe a long pair of needle nose pliers would probably be good I had a pair of uh, pliers but needle nose would have been better anyway glad I got that done because now I won't have to stop at the North Little Rock uh, yard I'm planning on stopping there later today I'll be going right by there anyway I'll stop and do my 30 minute break there get a shower you know, I could have always stopped and had it done there, but, you know, you never know how long it might take. They have an express bay there at the shop where, you know, they commit to getting you checked out and at least looked at within two hours. But something like that, you know, I mean, they might can fix it in 15 minutes if they can get somebody on it. If they're super busy, you know, it might take a couple hours. So I try to fix that kind of stuff when I can on my own. But if the wiring's all messed up, like on that last trailer, nah, you know, I can't mess with that. That's, that's a deeper problem. So anyway, I'm on the uh, western side of northwest Alabama will be crossing into Mississippi here probably in about 10 miles the sun is just now coming up behind me all I got to do today is drive I can almost I can probably get within an hour of the customer today maybe 30 minutes so, uh, and they've got me with a noon appointment tomorrow, which leaves me with 
several hours of dead time, so I'm going to call and see if I might can get in there earlier. I'll let you know. All right, more down the road. All right, everybody, quick update for you. I just got off of I-40 here in North Little Rock. I'm going to stop here at the Maverick North Little Rock yard and do my 30-minute break. Have a little lunch, get a shower, and then continue on to Oklahoma City. I won't get all the way today, but I could probably get within an hour and a half or so. And I'm happy to report that I called my customer, which was not easy. It took me several phone calls to get to the right people. But I uh, got my delivery appointment changed from noon to 8 a.m. She said that was the earliest they could get me. And I said, hey, that's awesome. I'll take it. So now I can, uh, you know, because I'm kind of an early person. I don't like sleeping in and waiting around. I get up and get going. I'd rather get up early and get going and then in my day early but anyway I'm happy about that so I can finish out whatever's left of the trip in the morning still get there and get it delivered I just delivered to that same place like last Monday I think it was all right so we're entering the main Maverick yard Looks like there's uh, <laughs> two or three trucks over at the car, the truck wash, and one of the transport vans. <laughs> oh boy! So I'm just gonna turn in here and try to find me a good parking spot. Were you guys thinking of coming to Maverick? I know you like to see the footage, but you guys that are already Maverick drivers, or used to be Maverick drivers, probably get tired of seeing this. <laughs> uh, it's hard to keep everybody happy. Okay, there's the shop. I see some students over there kind of hanging out on the smoking patio. Maybe one of the instructors. Anyway, I'm just gonna walk over to the uh, the showers, which are over on the end of the main office building. Give me a quick shower, cause I was not able to do that yesterday. Oh, pretty day today. Let me show you the load real quick though while I'm here and have the camera going. I don't remember if I did that yesterday. So uh, here it is. I was able to get it tarped with my two four foot drop tarps. And I did use all three of my canvas tarps though. Cause you know, the ends of this metal tubing are very sharp in the corners. I mean, they will eat your tarp up. So I got a, you know, a canvas tarp over that, you know, each end plus uh i think up here because it had that one yeah because it's got that one bundle up there so but that's it okay well i'll get back to you oh i need to send my fleet manager a message too letting him know i changed my delivery appointment all right more later.